Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your weekly reading for July 16th through the 22nd. This is for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, generally my readings are love readings. If you're looking for a career reading, looking about, worry about your bank account, whatnot, this reading is not for you. Keep in mind that if this reading feels right, it's for you. If it feels wrong, it is not. We're going to get an oracle card from this deck and from this deck, and then we'll break into that. If it flips over while I'm shuffling, you get to see it now. Otherwise, we will reveal it at the end. I did do your, your six-month forecast. If you want to go to Vimeo, or you can look through my videos, and you'll find it there. I may put the link below. We'll see. I'm behind, so I have a lot of readings to do. If you'd like to book a private reading, um, the information is below. This one wants to come, don't you think? It was just a jumping. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Middle of July, 16th through the 22nd. which is wonderful. This is uh, starting your new journey. Brand new start. Fresh, free, happy, starting over. New beginning. Brand new beginning. Wonderful. Great first card. Free. I'm free. Free from pessimism, perhaps, hopefully. This right here is, this could have been, this is the uh, Page of Wands reversed. This is somebody that is a naysayer, uh, has nothing good to say, something that holds you back. Maybe you're free from that. Let's hope that's what this is. Yeah, somebody is walking away from something so that they can be stable again. Okay, so... Yeah, I feel like you guys have freed yourself from uh, somebody that had a big ego, somebody that brought you down. You know, this is the theme. Now you guys are starting to head in a new direction towards more stability. You know, baby steps. Ooh, we have Pisces. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oh, we have the Empress. Wonderful which is you, glowing on cloud nine, as I would expect. Now, there's, there, there's somebody that could be going away, okay? Somebody could be going away with this, walking away. Two people are walking away. It doesn't have to be two. It could be one. Somebody is either walking away from you or you are walking away from them. There is some sort of ending here with this Ten of Swords. It's, it's, it's done. It's over. It's over. And it allows you to shine. It allows you to glow. It brings growth to your life. So your challenge is, is dealing with this situation with compassion, with love. I feel as though other people may see that, you know, you're hurt. They may see that you're confused. We have this moon card in the... In the uh, how other people see you position. They may feel like you're you're holding things in, you know, that you're trying to escape reality in some way. They may feel that way, but I feel like that's not true. That's not true. Okay. Somebody, um, there is a, a level of um, dishonesty here. There's a lack of communication. And other people may see, they may think that you're withdrawn at this time. And that's okay. They can think whatever they want. There's been, you know, I'm turning away from the family feuds. I'm not. I'm not going to involve myself. I don't want to fight. There's been too many family feuds here. There's been too much fighting going on. So I feel like right now you may be um, secluding yourself, okay, isolating yourself to be alone, to deal with the thoughts that are going on in your head. I think there's been some sort of loss here that has probably made you very emotional with this, this um 
this Queen of Cups reversed, there, you could be feeling, um, there could be some tears. There could be some hurt. I mean, I don't know what this is, but there is some sort of emotional um, overload, okay, with this ending that is happening, okay? Somebody is, is, is probably being removed from your life. Okay, or they have been re removed. Could have been during the the new moon. Okay, because I just keep looking at this moon, even though it's a full moon. It just came to my mind. I feel whatever has been or is being removed is going to allow you uh, a rebirth. Okay, it's the birth of the new you. It's going to allow you to really blossom into who you're meant to be. Okay, it's going it, to it, it and you know. The Knight of uh, Pentacles is my test card. This is a test. It's a test of your love. It's a test of your endurance. It's a test of your, of your compassion, you know, and your gentleness, okay? To be gentle through this hurt. Be gentle with yourself. Allow yourself to feel, okay? So I feel like this is a week of... of, of Maybe feeling over, overly emotional about some sort of new beginning that you're going on that you want, but there's fear. Because this is fear. So this is the new beginning, but this is fear. So you may feel like you want to be withdrawn. I think I see emotional withdrawal here. I don't want to communicate. I don't want to talk. This is this is overwhelming. So you may feel a little overwhelmed this week as you're you're starting your new phase, you're starting your new chapter, as you're free. You know, I'm free, I like it, but baby steps, baby steps, okay? So let's get some clarifiers here. The overall outcome, the outcome is the end of a... a the end of something in your family. Somebody could be moving out. There could be a change in your home. Somebody could be uh, removing themselves from the family dynamic. I think that somebody is 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 going away. You know, I hate to say this, but it even could be a death in the family. I mean, I'm, I I have to tell you what I see. Here we have death. Here we have family. I'm not sure what this is. So I mean, I'm not sure. It doesn't. I mean, don't get you're all worried about it. I'm just telling you what it could be. Okay, I feel like. Um, you know, and you're, you're, whatever this is, it's going to bring growth to your, to your, to, it could be death to a family feud, okay? And who knows what this is? So, your challenge is to remain calm. Your challenge is to handle this with grace. Your challenge is to love yourself at this time. Treat yourself with compassion because... I feel like whatever this is that is is walking away or is going away, which is allowing your fresh start, your fresh new beginning, may cause a little bit of, of, of tears, okay? So it is what it is, right? Yeah, somebody's walking away. Somebody's leaving. And there's emotional disappointment here this week. There's sadness. There is. And now I'm getting the goosebumps. Somebody may suddenly decide to go. It may be a sudden decision. They decide, you know, it's time. It's time. It's, I can't take this. I can't sit on the fence anymore. This is initial, initially really opening, opening up a new doorway for you. Okay. So I feel as though, you know, there's, there's probably a sudden uh, decision that is made that in which... It's going to change your life. Somebody is beginning to realize, you know, and prepare for a better future. And to prepare for a better future, thing, the old things that are no longer alive need to be removed. Okay? So I feel as though... With that somebody is is turning their back. Somebody is definitely leaving something behind. Something is 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 walking away. Something is going away for a better future.
this this goodbye whatever it is is going to bring you some sort of reward you know there's a feeling of this is the answer to your prayers okay it's your it's what you've been waiting for it's going to bring you the reward the the satisfaction the happiness that you've been waiting for three 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 okay threes are your prayers have been heard so this is even though it hurts things have to be removed so that you can so that you can grow so this is this is a birth the, the, the Empress card is a birth of a new you. It's a birth of a new life, okay? A new path, a new chapter. So I feel as though... Uh, something is going to happen very quickly. It's going to happen very, very suddenly. And y you're going to end up appreciating, believe it or not, this person walking, these people or, or person or whatever it is walking away. Eventually, you're going to appreciate it if you don't appreciate it now. Um, somebody's giving up. Yeah, somebody is giving up. There's, It's over. Something is absolutely, positively, 100% over. There's no more fight. The fight is done. It's done for real. Okay. There's, and it may, and when you come to that realization, it hurts. It hurts. So I do feel some emotional pain here, some some crying perhaps, um, as something is being released, a door is being closed. It really is what you've been wanting: so closure. This closure was needed so that you can get what you deserve, so that you can be happy again, so that you can broaden your horizons and start this new chapter, this new journey. So what is this? Okay, I want to know. Ooh, so your overall outcome has now changed from leaving a difficult family situation or relationship situation to finding a love unexpectedly so while this this is leaving something is leaving that hurts you you may run into a new a new love a new unexpected partnership that helps you to heal the lovers comes in often to help you heal so I feel as though there could be an unexpected um, connection with somebody that comes in to help you. This could happen like on the fly, okay, very, very quickly. And it's something that is undeniable. You guys are probably bound to each other. It's a gift, like I said, a reward earlier. This is the angel bringing you your reward after this heartache. So I feel, oh my gosh. Okay, so yeah, there's an undeniable connection. There's an undeniable connection coming in for you. This is coming in, okay? This is this is not this there's a situation that has has died. It has died. It's being released whether you like it or not, which I think you do like it. But it still hurts, you still feel it. You still feel it. It's being released and it's and it's bringing in this this new connection that is undeniable it's undeniable i feel like there's a soulmate connection coming in the picture for you it could be with a capricorn it could be with a gemini it could be with anybody scorpio uh pisces cancer we have aries leo sagittarius we have taurus virgo capricorn doesn't matter it really doesn't matter it feels as though there's there is a new coming together after a loss and this is going to happen unexpectedly this person is not your usual type but it could definitely be a soulmate okay it's something that you won't be able to de deny okay so look forward to this i mean i know that crying isn't something to look forward to but this loss that you're going through is allowing a a a birth of a a new love Okay, so I feel like there's a new opportunity for love here, but something is being being let go of that hurts really bad. 
So, yeah. There's going to be a lot of sexual tension between you. Sexual atta uh, attraction between you and this person. This new person that comes into your life unexpectedly. The, there's, it's almost like you can't even control yourselves. Because that the bond is so immediate. It's like an immediate attraction. Okay? So be prepared. Ooh. Self-love. Now is the time to love, nurture, and heal yourself. Self-love is not simply a state of mind about feeling good. It's a state of appreciation for yourself that grows and matures from actions you take to support your body, mind, and soul. And this is a period of self-love. You're letting something go or something is letting you go that was holding you back. You get back, like I said, right here. This is about self-love. Treat yourself with compassion. Allow your heart to sing with joy. I don't even need the card. Allow yourself to be happy with this release. Trust that it's happening for a reason. Trust that new love is coming in. This is just a test. It's a test of your self-love. It's a test of your self-love. There's a sudden release that allows a sudden arrival. And that's exactly what this card is. Allow it to happen with grace. Spend more time outdoors. This is from Archangel Michael. Thank you for motivating me to spend more time outdoors and for helping me relax and enjoy connecting with nature. Allow yourself to get grounded. Get out there. If you're feeling over emotional, get out there and ground yourself. So... This is what I have, Taurus, for the week of the 16th through the 22nd. Uh, let me remind you that the timing is fluid. This is being recorded on July 11th, so it could resonate for the rest of July. This could, you know, whenever it resonates with you. There's a severing of ties that brings an, an almost like an instant new connection. And this is when the ties truly get severed, when the cord is truly cut. Talk to you next time.